years ago saw Sliske reshaping the world of Gillenor forever. Since then, gods have fallen, sides have been chosen, and war is unavoidable. Next week is the beginning of the end in the first part of what's sure to be RuneScape's most exciting questline ever. Next week sees the release of Nomad's Elegy, the first of the Sliske countdown storyline quests. In this quest, Nomad has been up to something a bit naughty. He's been siphoning all of the souls from the underworld. That's everyone who died all across Gillenor. He is nicking their souls and using them for some nefarious reason. Nomad's an enigmatic character in the sort of RuneScape lore. He's this strange, powerful sorcerer and a bit of an anti-hero, or as much of a hero as you can be when you're siphoning all of the souls of the dead into yourself. You will team up with like Death, Ichthorin, and some other friends as well to take the fight directly to Nomad. You'll be able to lead a siege on Nomad's fortress and take him out directly. This quest is one of the Sliske endgame quest lines, which means it ties into things like Dishonor Amongst Thieves and Mighty Fall, which are all part of Sliske's big game. It also ties into Missing Presumed Death, because it's a continuation of this. We also reference some of the other earlier quest lines to reference some of the individuals you might be meeting along the way. This is a combat-heavy quest. There will be some moments which will test your ability to use the combat system to its fullest. This isn't just in terms of the potential boss fight that might maybe be there, that's obviously going to be there because it's Nomad, but also taking on Nomad's various minions and a few gameplay sections as well. To start this quest, you just need to go and find the top hat and monocle that's currently on Zimbafiz and have a lovely, pleasant conversation with them. So you need to have done Nomad's Requiem, Throne of Miscellanea, Void Stairs Back, The Mighty Fall, Dishonor Amongst Thieves, and Heart of Stone. You'll also need 75 wood cutting, 75 mining, and 75 construction. Upon completion of this quest, you will get an assortment of XP. You'll also get two new invention blueprints, one of which, which will allow you to make pickpocketing easier, and the other which will make your urns more efficient. You'll see movement on Siske's scoreboard. You'll see changes in how the gods are operating, and ultimately you will see the final confrontation with Siske as a direct result of this quest. Next week, we'll be looking at what to expect at this year's Game Blast and Double XP Weekend.